Hey everyone, welcome back to our new video and in this video you will learn another automation by which you can nurture your leads and convert your leads into your customers using WhatsApp application. So guys, here the use case is we are taking leads inside our Zoho CRM application and we are using a form created by Zoho to collect leads inside this CRM and as and when you enter a lead here in your CRM application, a WhatsApp message will be delivered to that lead automatically. So this message will be like, thank you for signing up or welcome on board or anything like that. So you can do any kind of interaction with this help of, uh, with the help of this automation. So let me show you how this is going to work. So this will be the flow of this automation guys. Here I use Zoho CRM application in place of this you can use any other CRM like HubSpot or any other and here we are adding a lead in a module so uh, in Zoho CRMs we have modules and we are adding leads in that and as and when a lead is added here a whatsapp message will be delivered to that lead automatically okay so you can send any kind of message to your leads on whatsapp with the help of this automation and to make this we are using Pabli connect which is an integration and automation tool and the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills very easily so guys now let me show you how we can set up this automation so guys to set up this automation first of all you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli connect and to reach here you can use the link that we have pasted in the description which is this pabli.com slash connect from here by clicking on sign up free button you can set up your free Pabli connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month okay so sign up right now and log in to reach here on the dashboard and guys here you have to create a workflow of automation and to do that just click here on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable or relevant name to this workflow so I'm giving the name here as Zoho CRM to WhatsApp automation okay right so after giving the name like this you can click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page you will see this trigger and the action so you can read here trigger is saying when this happens that means when any event occurs this is going to trigger the workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger so it is saying do this so action will make public connect perform any action according to the trigger as in this use case the trigger would be addition of a new lead inside zoho crms module and the action towards that trigger would be to send a message to that lead okay so first of all let's select uh, let's set up our trigger so from this choose app field you have to choose your trigger application here so Zoho is our trigger application CRM select it and the trigger event would be new module entry instant one so it will trigger when a new entry is created in a specific modules let me tell you what modules are you can see this is my Zoho CRM application and these are the modules we have home leads contacts accounts deals tasks etc these are known as modules in this Zoho CRM and here in the contact section the contact module we are adding leads and we are adding these leads with the help of this form that we have created with the help of Zoho only okay this is a kind of lead form and to create such forms you can see here a settings icon and uh, click on settings icon and uh, on the settings page you will find this web forms option so with the help of these web forms you can create a form for yourself and you can share it with your audience or on social media or on your website and uh, from this form you can collect leads okay and these leads are going to be added in the contact section okay right so here we are selecting this trigger event new module entry so as and when a new contact is added inside contact module this will be triggering the workflow okay so just click on connect here and from here select add new connection and then click on connect with Zoho CRM all right and here it is asking in which domain your Zoho accounts belongs to so you can see here uh, my Zoho account belongs to Zoho.com okay so I have to put here Zoho.com Zoho.com just copy this all 
right let me fill it manually zoho.com right then then click on save and it will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in in zoho as i have already logged in it is just asking uh for giving the access to some uh, giving some accesses to public connect so you have to click on accept here and you will be connected with zoho you can see we are getting connected like this and here it is asking to select your module's name so uh, my module's name is contacts in which we are adding the contacts now click on save and send test request and you can see it started showing waiting for the response so this means now we have to perform a test submission so the test submission would be equals to this trigger event only this means we have to create a demo entry inside our contact section all right and with the help of that demo entry we are going to capture the data of that entry here or contact here and that will act as a test data for us and with the help of that data we are going to set up this automation further okay so guys to do this test submission we need to open the form that we have created with the help of zoho and now we are going to fill this form on the behalf of any demo lead okay and we are going to submit this form so let me fill in the name of my uh, lead as daniel uh, dawson okay this is the email of this person this is the phone number and this is the uh, company name so you can put here any company's name okay and here you have to put the whatsapp number of this person like this okay so i'm going to submit this form and you can see the form is getting submitted right so here you can check now in public connect if we got the uh, data of this form response so guys here you can see it is still waiting for the response now let us check in zoho crm if we got the lead added okay so you can see the lead got added here daniel dawson okay but this lead is added in the leads module actually and here we have selected contacts module that's why it is not captured the response still now so let's select the module again as leads okay right and let's capture the response again i'm going to fill the form again so to capture the test data and let me fill the details uh, now as chris Harris is our lead. This is the email ID. This is the phone number. <clears throat> and this is the company's name. And I'm submitting the form. Okay. And you can see the form is submitted. Now let's see if we got the data captured. And you can see the data is now captured here as this. It is showing the details of the module. Okay. And here you can see the details that the person has filled okay the company's name the email address okay and here you will find the created time date okay and this is the name of the lead so that's how we can capture the data of our lead from zoho now guys i want to send this lead a message on whatsapp for that to happen you you, you need to use this action step and here you have to select whatsapp's cloud api so guys to use this feature here was of whatsapp cloud api inside public connect First of all, you need to set up your own WhatsApp business account API with, uh, here inside this developer section of Meta, okay? Meta for developer section. Here you have to set up your cloud API setup. So guys, to set up this, you can check the videos that we have pasted in the description and from where you can learn how you can set up your own WhatsApp's cloud API. And after that, you can use it to connect here inside this action step in Pabli Connect. Okay, so here you have to select the action event as send template message, then click on connect and from this window select add new connection if you are making the connection with the, with your cloud API for the first time. Select add new connection and here it will ask for the permanent access token of your API setup, the phone number ID and the business account ID. Okay, so to find these things you can just click here on this here text and you will reach this forum page of public and forum.pablico.com and here you can find these videos also on how to set up your cloud api inside public connect and how to generate your permanent access token and here you can see the instructions with the screenshots on how to uh, set up your api and how to connect it 
and to find these things specifically uh, you I can show you how where you can find this this is my developer section of meta and here I have created this application you can see my connect message app okay and in this application I am under the uh, whatsapps getting started page and under the getting started page guys you will find the temporary access token first so first they gave you temporary access tokens but these tokens expires in 24 hours so you need to generate a permanent one okay and on this page uh, in this send and receive messages section you can see the phone number id so you have to copy that and paste it here okay like this and here only you will find this account id also business account id copy that and paste it here in this field like this all right and once you get your permanent access token generated you have to uh, uh, save it somewhere else and you can use the same tokens again and again to make the connection uh, with public connect so generating the permanent access token for whatsapp cloud api is a one-time process one-time task once you get it generated you can use it afterwards also and making the connection by this process by selecting add new connection and filling these three things is also a one-time task guys once you made your connection by this process after that if you want to make the connection again you just have to choose any existing connection okay so as i have already connected with my cloud api in a previous workflow in a different workflow so now i can choose my existing connection so i'm selecting existing connection option and from this select connections field you can select any connection i'm using this one cloud api final one okay and now i just have to click on save and i'll be connected again you can see we are connected and now it is asking for the templates name so guys to send messages on whatsapp we we need to create some message templates first and to do that let me show you here in the developer section of meta you can see send messages with the api step and here you can read to create your own message template click here so when you click on this here text you will reach this page so this is the message template section and here I have created all these templates guys. Let me show you one. So guys, these templates are nothing but the predefined message structures then that we need to create to send messages to multiple people on WhatsApp. So in a message template, uh, you can see you can have an header, you can have the body in which you can uh, send the text, you can add a footer and also a call to action button. And you can see the preview of your message templates here like this. So uh, in WhatsApp, this message is going to look like this. Okay. And uh, here you can see, let me show you how you can create one. And in the body of the message, you can see we have, we, we should have these variable text added also. You can see here we have one in double curly braces, two, three, four. So these are the variables that you can add in your uh, message body and these are the variable things which are going to change with every new message as you can see in place of this one in double curly braces we need to we are going to have the name of the person to whom we are sending the message like this hello roger binney okay so it will change with every new message similarly the email the organization the data deal amount these are the things which are going to change with every new message so to get these things changed dynamically and automatically we need to place these tags here inside the message body and we are going to map the values of these things here in our workflow and that that will be uh, change that will be changing with every new message okay so uh, to create a such a message template let me show you just you just have to click here on this create message template button and here you can select the categories in which you want to create a message template like the transactional category the marketing category the otp okay and here you can give a name to your message template let me first select the category let's say marketing okay here you can give a name here you can select the language in which you want to send the message okay right and after that click on continue from here and you can see here on this page you can add a header to your message template and in the header you can send a text or media in which you can send images videos and documents here in the body box you have to uh, type your main message that you want to send so let's say i start with hello and to add variable text just click here on this add variable button and a tag will be added here so you can add these tags in strategic places okay and after that you can add a footer and a button also 
after completing your template, submit your template from here. Right now I'm canceling this. Okay. And after getting your, sum your template submitted, Facebook will review your template and approve it. So it will just take a few minutes to get your template approved. After that, you can use it to send messages on WhatsApp. Right. And to send messages on WhatsApp via a template, you have to select your template first here in your workflow. Okay. So the template I am using here is this one. Let me show you. I am using guys this one reply to lead template then the preview of this template is this okay this is a kind of message I want to send to my lead right so I'm selecting this template from here the name of which is reply to lead okay and you can see the language code and the ID is filled up automatically here here it is asking for the recipients whatsapp number or mobile number so we have the test data here in this first step you can see and in the first step we got this label data zero mobile label and we, here we got the whatsapp number so i'm going to map this label here to send messages to a new person every time when this workflow executes you need to map the whatsapp number here okay and to map it just click here and it will show you this previous step in the drop down and from by clicking here you can see all the data that you have received as the test data in the first step and from here only you can uh, see the whatsapp number and map it the label like this okay now it is asking for the body fields so you can see in my message template we have one and two body fields or the variable tags so to get these body fields change automatically like this we are going to map the values here so in place of this body field one we are going to map the name of the person which you will find here like this mm, here is the name this is the name okay so I'm mapping the full name label okay and here in the second body field you can enter the name of your firm or your business so you can uh, fill that manually because that is going to be the same for this automation this particular automation so I'm just putting here Pabli you can put the name of your company okay and we are done mapping the data now we can check our connection with WhatsApp also by clicking on save and send test request and a test message will be delivered to this WhatsApp number. So actually I have the access to this WhatsApp account so I can show you how the message will appear. So I am clicking on save and send test request and this is the response we have received and we have got a new message also here on this WhatsApp account. Let me show you and you can see the message is this. Hello Chris Harris. Thank you for filling out the form. We'll be in touch shortly. Warm regards family team. And in place of these body fields, you can see in place of these body fields, we got the data changed automatically in a message. Okay. Because we have mapped the data here like this. So this is how it is going to work in real time guys. And we are done setting up this automation. So you need to set up this automation only once after that, as in when you receive any lead into your CRM, these messages are going to be delivered automatically on WhatsApp to your leads. Okay, and the good part is you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.